Claire Whittingham. Hello. Um, should Boris fall on his sword for not abiding by the very rules he has set us all to live by? Jess Phillips. I mean, Flair, I think that the very basic, simple answer to that is yes. Um, we have to have a basic trust in our politicians. And even as I say this, I can feel people in the audience, um, both here and at home, think, well, nobody trusts politicians. And that is deeply, deeply problematic because actually so much of our, our lives and more so in the past couple of years than ever before, certainly in my lifetime, have we needed to rely on the respectability and the honesty and integrity of our politicians because they control everything in our lives pretty much where my children go to school, where I get my health services, the kind of roads that I drive on, like it really deeply matters. And Boris Johnson, in his activities, I have to say there were plenty of clues leading up to this, but in his activities over the last few weeks with regard to not even just whether he, he went to the parties or not, which now we know he did go to the parties, even though he claims that he didn't realise it was a party, so he's either a liar or an idiot. Um, the reality is, is that he lied about it repeatedly. He kept saying, I haven't broken the rules. He said it in Parliament, he, which is a breach of the ministerial code to lie to Parliament knowingly. He also put in charge... He, I mean, he's saying technically this party could be said to fall within the guidance. I'd like to see that technicality. Also, uh, uh, the, I don't know how, unless people who worked in Tesco's were also allowed to go out and have a shindig in the car park, uh, or people who live and work in pubs, for example, were they allowed to... Well, it, you know, they live and work there. This is a unique experience, apart from the fact that we were all working from home at the time and weren't having parties in our garden. But the, 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 the serious point for me is just the constant lies. Boris Johnson put in charge of the inquiry a man we, it, we now find out he knew was at the parties. This is the level of integrity and how seriously he has taken it. He wasn't sorry in Parliament. He said, I'm sorry for the way it's been perceived. What he said is, I'm sorry you feel this way. I'm sorry that people like Hannah Brady and all those uh, whose families died and couldn't be with them, who stood in the garden while he glad-handed them, the same garden where he'd been having a party. He wasn't sorry. He was sorry he got caught. <laughs>